now you have created the EBS you want and you have made the project. Make sure to name the project according to whatever you want that just remember it or whatever your organization's structure. Let's say for example for the guard room we will name this one guard room 001 GR001 as an activity ID and here we are going to name it guard room 001 when it's covered it will be 002 so you can take take care and take track for the projects and even the updates so as you are going to see here there are different tabs in the project the first tab is the general tab responsible manager active guard room project name priority risk level you are assigned this each and each and every one but this tab is the most important tab in this tab you are going to impose a finish date this you are going to see it later on after we create the activities and everything this date is the date imposed usually the contractually date or the self-imposed date or let's say within the organization that you should finish within such date so you are going to add and choose the date from this menu then you have the notebook i love this one especially because this one you can write whatever you want whatever changes you made when it's happened what you did you can write whatever you want in this notebook to make it easier for you to remember especially if you have a lot and a lot of projects the budget log the spending plan budget summary shows you whenever this one is loaded funding codes defaults resources there's a lot and there's different ways of calculations that we are that's too deep in detail in this stage so now in the guard room if you open the project you're going to open and see the activities it's empty that's normal but always make sure the first step is to create your calendar make sure that you have an existing you are using an existing calendar or creating a calendar from scratch this might change a lot and a lot in your project dates you might use a calendar different than the one that you are in that you are using in this city each city might differ from the other because of weather conditions national holidays whatsoever so you should always make sure that you are using the right calendar so for the case for this lecture and for this course we are going to create a calendar from scratch so to create a calendar from scratch and to assign it for such project we are going to use the enterprise tab the enterprise tab you're going to go to calendars there's the default calendars and the already old and used calendars and you can check which used by which programs if you're using this one it's used by show by which programs is using this one we are going to create one from scratch so we are going to add new one we will name it guard room for the purpose of this course we are going to make the default we are going to go to the guard room and we'll make this one the default so let's see the calendar here it's shown that there's two vacation days Sunday and Saturday each and every week if you're living in a country or according to the project's country or the project city it might be only five days it might be only six days instead of five days in order to change this in each and every week I'm not going to pick one by one and make it non or work day there's a simple way that you're going to use the work week where you are going to say first of all you're going to make it let's say the working hours for bear week bear week is eight or ten or whatsoever eight and eight you're going to copy it here and here and here and here now you have a seven working day as you see all is working to make it non-working you can see the difference between the color of this one and this one this is a non-working day so now you are going to make it work but we need it only to take let's say for example for the recent project it's in the Gulf region you're going to make zero Friday it's vacation 
so it will show in each and every week Friday is off but also there's some national holidays make sure that you always know the national holidays for the city not only the country that the project is located in for example the national holiday is 23 9th for any reason there is other vacations for any reason these reasons are let's say will be from 11 12 14 these are non-work make sure to report to and to beat this each and every year so you're going to go to september 2020 and to beat the same as well to make sure that it's always consistent these are the non-working days the only way to do this is using this tab and go through each and every day and know if there's other holidays you're going to know about it this make sure you can google each city the different holidays that this city celebrate or take off days in this is now you have finalized your calendar and you're ready to go and you made it a default so whenever you are going to add a new activity the add button here as you see and there's another patterns that has been added different than the one in the EBS see how it does this change so now when this change you have another options inside the project but the add button here you're going to add a new activity rather than a new project because you are already in the project where you are going to see the details on, how, on the next step WBS and the activities in the next lectures